Hey, Needlebender757 here with another 757 Boulder Built Amplifier video. This one here is of a 2x8 mobile. Variable power. All the good stuff in here. Built tight and right. Check it out. Nice high performance fans in there. Just all the good stuff. Let's slip the lid on, see how it works. Okay, we got the lid on. Nice looking box there. We're going to be uh, using the Unidim Grand XL since it's uh, a low drive box. And we'll, uh, let's see, we'll turn the variable up all the way. And the box is off, so it don't matter with that. But let's, let's, uh, let's see what we're hitting it with. One and a half watts. Audio. 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 Doing about 22 watts. Let's look at our pass-through here. Input reflect. Audio. 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 Input reflex nice and flat. We'll turn our box on. Nice looking box, I must say. And uh, let's see what we're doing now. We are dead can about 170. Audio, audio, swinging 2000. Audio, audio, audio. Audio, about two tenths of a watt swinging up there at uh, 2,000. But other than that, man, it's it's pretty good. That ain't much. Audio, yeah, that's pretty darn good if you ask me. Audio, nice 2,000 watts. It's got sideband delay on there, of course. But I'll be using it probably uh, through an RCA jack in the back to key it. I'll be using it on sideband in my truck here for a while. And breaking out the uh, the sink. The sink's coming out of the truck. Hitting it with 100 watts just wasn't enough for the sink. You know, it's an 8 pill. It needs more than 100 watts hitting it. So I built this thing to replace it. There we have it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you have a good week. Needlebender757 here in the Colorado Rockies. We're going to get back on the side smoking. See ya.